If you have invested your money in the stock markets and you're still not aware of the recent crash, then this is for you. The markets crashed on August 5th sharply, led by an array of reasons such as fears of US recession, unwinding of yen carry trade, geopolitical tensions and much more. Now, as an investor, you must be wondering what next? Should you buy the dip? Should you exit or wait for a 10% correction? Let's decode what experts feel about this. The stock market has right now shifted from extreme greed to extreme fear due to concerns over yen carry trade and fears of a US recession. This shift had pushed Sensex and Nifty below budget day low levels, challenging the buy the dip strategy that previously gave strong returns. Retail investors have been booking profits regularly while mutual funds have substantial cash reserves to navigate the market turbulence. Market veterans predict a potential market drop of up to 10% which could correct valuations to more sustainable levels. Sandeep Sabarwal, a market advisor, suggests that a 7-10% correction would be beneficial for long-term market health. Despite a generally bullish outlook, investors are advised to take profits where valuation concerns exist and to exercise caution. Santosh Meena, head of research at Swastika Invest Mart, warns against rushing into the market, suggesting better entry levels may emerge. In June, equity mutual funds held about 1.52 lakh crore rupees in cash, roughly 4.59% of their total AUM, which could stabilize the Indian markets. Piyush Nagra, SVP at Anand Rati, recommends staggered investing through mutual funds for those unsure about individual stocks. On Monday, August 5th, Sensex dropped up to 2,686 points and Nifty fell below the 23,900 mark. Market cap of all BSE-listed stocks decreased by around 17 lakh crore rupees. Institutional fund managers are anticipating a correction to absorb excess liquidity. Anirudh Naha, CIO at PGIM India AMC, suggests moderating return expectations and allocating towards equity over the next 9 to 12 months to potentially benefit in the next 3 to 5 years. Well, that is all for today. Stay tuned to ET Markets for more.